Greetings, brethren and non brethren. What this video uh, I'm gonna put a little warning, just like you watch an explicit movie, it warns you has explicit images, uh, violence. Well, this video is like that. This is for the strong, the one that's. Uh, I think you have to be saved for this one. Saved that has really strong spiritual discernment. Because if you don't, you will take this out of context and you will say, oh, he's a heretic. He doesn't know what he's talking about. You will shut me out completely. This is proof that I fully, not say fully, but I understand God enough to follow him. Blessed are these who have wisdom and knowledge on an understanding. Okay, this is about I know understand I understand how the way things are supposed to work, not the way things are. Things the way the things are of the devil. The way the things are supposed to work is of God. So this is going to be very controversial. Remember, we think Psalms was talking about. That's why I keep saying those verses over and over again as much as I can. I come in peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, it's meant for war. Why? That's in Psalms. That's biblical scripture. Why? It's meant for war because we're in the world of lies, ruled by the father of lies. And lies govern the world. Like I said, it's not just thing money. It's not money that makes the world go round. It's lies that makes the world go round. It's money is a lie. It's IOUs. So that's why it's going to war. Truth wars with lies. They hate each other. They don't get along. The soul lusted against the flesh, the flesh lusted against the soul. So, like I said, this is for strong people that can spiritually discern. Okay, at first it sounds heretical, but I understand. Yeah, I think he knows what he's talking about. Or, no, or halfway. This is for strong, spiritually discerning Christians. Strong. He's not saying I'm at the height of the game, but I'm strong enough to say this video because. I had little, not not saying reluctant. I had some reluctancy. See, I'm weak flesh. God said no, do it, do this video. Remember, I do the will of my Father, not of me. I was reluctant to make this video. You know what that means? Reluctant, unwilling. But I said hmm, unwilling. I do the will of my Father. Am I unwilling to do the will of my Father? You see what I'm getting at with this? That's what reluctancy means. Unwilling. Am I unwilling to do the will of my father? I'm supposed to do the will of my father. Anyways, this is the this is the I don't want to say Trinity because that's Romanism. That's Romanism. Isis, Horus, Set, Jesuitical trash. I use Godhead. That's because that's what's in the Bible. Trinity is not in the Bible. King James. Anyways, I use Godhead. Uh, when I talk, everybody knows the Godhead. Everybody knows God appears into three separate entities. Do you know the roles? No. You probably know the chain command because I talked about it. Chain command. Do you know their roles? What, what they? What are they? Each of them have a role. Oh, he's belittling God. No, I'm just saying. God had each of them has a function. The household. Father, remember everything's threes. Father, Son, Child. God the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Remember, I told you not God, but your God light. There's a three in you as well. That's what this point is about. Your three, your three, your three people in one form. That makes up you. Remember, I told you God like, not God. That means you're made in this image. Well, funny. God is three distinct people, but they're separate, but they're equal in essence. All three combined is one. And they don't need to combine because they're they're fractal. They're part of the whole and they are the whole. Well, what do you know? That's how you're made. If I didn't lose you, don't worry, I will. If I didn't offend you, don't worry, I will. But it's meant for war. Do the will of my father, not you. Um, to be fully in your Christian walk, people use that term. This is to show how I know I'm fully, I'm not saying fully as it, I'm doing everything that my father says. I, I get it. Now I got to do it. Morpheus said this in Matrix 1. Neo, there's a difference between knowing the path and walk in the path. There's all sorts of zoos in that movie. 
I can go on and on. This is just to prove to you I know the path, but I didn't walk it. I'm walking it. But I, I get strayed off course because I'm in the devil's matrix. Remember, there's two matrices. There's a God's matrix. There's a world as it is, a simulation. And the devil's matrix. No. No, it's not a simulation. You don't think I don't go through that? No, it's real. What you see is, this is, this is no heaven or hell. This is it. Joel C. This is it. The best life is now. You're in the God's matrix if you're saved. This is all going to burn. This is gone. It's temporary. You, but the devil's matrix is a template on top of it saying, no, this is it. This is real. This feels real. No. God's matrix and the devil's matrix. Max Planck. 99% 99.999 empty space. He called it the matrix of all matter. That's where we get the name matrix from. Max Planck. The Nobel Peace Prize winner. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is about the Godhead. Chain of command. And the rules for your chain of command. Remember, your soldier, warrior. I'm talking in threes here. I'm gonna talk in since since it's everything is threes, let's let's keep this in threes. I'm gonna be talking about the Godhead. The three in that. What do what do you mean? The role and the subordination. Who follows who? Who listens to who? I do that first. Second, I talk about household. This yeah, there's, don't, use some discernment. Of course, there's more than three peoples in a family sometimes, but they call, there's a reason why they call the father, the son, and the child of a home, the nuclear family. You never heard of that term? Oh, it's a media family. It's the nuclear family. Look it up. The nucleus, proton, electron, neutron, three. Proton, electron, neutron, three. Mother, I'm talking about your biological parents. Mother, father, child. They're all the same. There's, don't tell me there's no role and there's no chain of command. That's where it changes. The essence is the same. I'm the same as my father. I'm talking in terms of biological. But he has a role. He rules over me. So is my mother. She's supposed to submit to his husband. Okay? So I'm going to be talking about the Godhead. The three, the roles, the chain of command. The nuclear family. Three, mother, father, child, the role, essence, and the role. And there's a three in you. Oh, he's making himself God. No, God-like. If you're thinking that already, you turn this off. I'm just saying God's providence is everywhere. Three, for some reason, is his favorite number. What do you know? The devil's number is three. Three sixes. Three, six, six, six. He wants to be God. Six is the sixth day he made man. The man God. The you man. The man God. The false Christ. You means God, God man. You is God, man is man, God man. Remember, human. You're a human being, right? You're God, not God like, you're God. You are gods. And they say in the Bible, ye are gods. Let's trust some scripture here. But yeah, I'm going to uh, describe the Godhead, its threes, and its roles, in essence. The nuclear family, mother, father, child, its three, its roles. And there's a three in you. I'll tell you what that is in his role. And to those who understand, fully understand where I'm getting at, praise God. For those, uh, sorry, I just want to say, but that's how what it is to understand that God's everything about chain of command. And when you break that chain of command, you have anarchy. Children telling mother what to do, wife telling father what to do. But we ever thought, what if God was like that? This is what was done. Jesus said, no, Father, not doing, not going to the cross, which he didn't have to. He told him he was tempted not to go to the cross. Father, if it's possible, if it's possible, tempted, not sin, temptation, not sin, let this cup pass from me. But it's not my will, but your will be done. He's a servant. But yeah, what if God, I'm not going to cross. Jesus says, I will send the comforter until I come for my bride. Holy Ghost says, no, I'm not going into him. Yeah, I know he said, I'm not doing it. Chaos. That's how we are if you're saved or unsaved. There's chaos brewing inside you. The flesh says, no, so I'm not going to do what you what you want. I'm going to do this. And and the soul says, spirit, your mind, body, soul, your mind, not, you're not mind, body, soul. That's Jesuitical trash. Your body, soul, spirit. Big difference. You're not mind, body, soul, mind. No. 
I just proved to you there's no mind in my earlier series. Your body, soul, spirit. I'll get to that. You have a spirit in you whether you're saved or not saved. Okay? Okay, anyways, the soul's not going to be like uh, to the spirit. No, I'm not going to do it. Well, that's how it is with you. Inside you is anarchy. There's, there's anarchy in the family. Wives telling husbands what to do. Children telling wives what to do. A mother what to do. Total disarray. That's why there's no country. You got no nuclear family. Chain of command in the household. You have no country. There's, don't tell me there's chaos within the Godhead. With the, It's like a soldier. Go to the cross, my son. I'm not going to enjoy it. Don't tell me God enjoyed it. I, yes, he did it. There was a storm. It was dark. You saw what happened. Earthquake. Remember, they would. God's not a puppet master. He didn't put on no one's heart to crucify some. They wanted to do it. I want to get, make that perfectly clear. I was like, no, it's a cruel God. He forced his son to the cross. They wanted to kill him. They wanted to do it. Let me make that clear. But yeah, the, in the Godhead, there's no there's perfect chain of command. We need to follow that chain of command. Don't tell me household in America if they follow that chain of command. Wives telling husbands what to do. Feminism, which is a sin. Children telling their parents what to do. And in here, all sorts of anarchy. There's a full-blown war here. You don't even know it. I'm talking to you, unsaved person. You said unsaved people have a spirit. Yes, you do. You have a spirit in you. Not to be confused with the soul. The spirit is what governs you, what drives you. If you're not saved, you have the spirit of the devil, the Antichrist. Your, your father is of the devil, and the lust of your father you would do. What's lust? Whatever the devil wants you to do. I don't have the spirit of Antichrist in me. If I had the spirit of Antichrist, I wouldn't be doing this video. I told you I was re reluctant to do it. Now, well, why? They, the, no one's going to see this video. This, they're just going to say, what do you know what you're talking about? I don't have the spirit of Antichrist no more. I don't follow the, the will of the devil no more. I haven't eaten no more. I haven't eaten yet. Let me go downstairs. No. Let me watch the TV. No. I follow the will of my father without question. Obedient, like the Jesuits do. Jesuits have the three. Devil, God the Father, the Black Pope, and the White Pope. Don't tell me whoever, if you research a Jesuit order, they're all about military, all about obedience. Yeah, let's talk about that. Satan is an undisputed ruler. Think of him as God the Father. I'm not saying devil is God. I'm talking about model. That Godhead model. Think of Satan as God the Father. This is, if I was a Jesuit, which I'm not. If I'm a Jesuit, see, even Jesuits know, if you're a Jesuit quiet, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about high ranking. Yep, I know what he's talking about. If I'm a Jesuit. I'm a Jesuit, hypothetically speaking. I'm a Jesuit quiet. I don't know the spirit in me. Most Jesuit quiet don't even know this. <laughs> if I'm a Jesuit quiet, I know I, I'm three people and I submit to the Godhead, the satanic Godhead. Remember, the devil wants to do everything God's doing. Don't tell me, this. of course it's not biblical, but the devil is a copycat, he's a counterfeit. I'm a Jesuit, I know there's three in me. I have the spirit of the Antichrist. That's that's my Holy Ghost, the spirit of the Antichrist is my Holy Ghost. I'm, I'm comparing the two. As so is there is below, as so is below. Spirit of the Antichrist, that's my Holy Ghost. I have the soul, and I have the flesh, the three in me. The only difference is, instead of the, the Holy Ghost, it's the spirit of the Antichrist. And there's the Godhead, I submit, talking about all, all the, the three components of me, body, soul, and spirit, submits to the Godhead, the satanic Godhead. Satan is my father. Don't tell me that's not biblical. Ye, if you're not saved, the father, your father is the devil. The lust of your father you will do. Absolutely. If I was a Jesuit to the core, the Satan is my father. Jesus Christ is the uh, the Black Pope because there's no one, as far as physically speaking, there's no one. If you know who really runs the world, there's no one above the Black Pope. Don't tell me there's a a human being. Well, until the Antichrist comes, I'm talking about now. As of now, only one above Adolfo Nicholas, the Black Pope, is a devil. That's it. No one, as in terms of human beings. There we go again, using the term human being. As, as form of man, there's no man above the black pole. So I submit to the will, to the Father, Spirit, is Satan. Jesus Christ, remember, he's a human being. God, man, you means God. Adolfo Nicholas, he's my Jesus Christ. What does the Pope call himself? 
He calls. He doesn't call himself in place of Christ. He is Christ in the flesh, vicar of Christ. So, but the white pope is white pope is not who you think. He does. He submits the will to the black pope. That's why they killed John Paul the first because he didn't they didn't follow the chain of command. So he poisoned them after thirty three days, thirty three degrees of Freemasonry. So yeah, the devil the devil already knows what I'm talking about. The devil knows about Godhead threes. And he knows about because he wants he wants his God. Hey, he knows his chain of command. So I have the spirit of the Antichrist. It, I'm talking to unsaved people. If you're unsaved, you follow your own little Godhead. Atheists, you follow your own Godhead. The Godhead is yourself. You're your own God. Think about it. You have the spirit of the Antichrist in you. Remember, it's either Holy Ghost or spirit of Antichrist. You have to have one spirit, one or the other, not both. Or have both. No, spirit of the Antichrist or spirit of the Holy Ghost. You have one spirit. I'm an atheist. I'm talking to unsaved people. I have the spirit of the Antichrist in me. I got the lust of my father will do. Well, what's the lust of the devil? He's God. So I'm God. I do the will of my father, remember? <laughs> so I follow the spirit of the Antichrist. The soul. That's the second part. I'm talking to unsaved people. The soul is the, uh, the Jesus Christ. Remember, Christ consciousness. You are Christ, Oprah Winfrey, New Age. So this is how atheist people, whether you know it or not, this is what you're saying. doesn't matter if you, oh, no, that, I'm an atheist, but that's not how I see it. This is how it is, spiritual discernment, sorry. Your soul is your Jesus Christ, your soul. I can do it myself. I don't need him to die for me. I can do everything by myself. I have self-righteousness. I don't need imputed righteousness from, from Jesus Christ. I'm my own Jesus Christ. And the flesh what is the role of the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost is God in action. The flesh does the will. You see the chain of command? Spirit of the Antichrist is the, the operating system, Windows 7. The soul is the actual program. And the body is the action, act, the actual doing it, the keyboard. See the command structure? Let me go ahead one more time. I'm unsaved. I do the will of the Father, which is the devil. Who's I? The soul. Since there is no God, I'm Jesus Christ. I got Christ consciousness, which is just a force, a state of mind. My Christ consciousness tells my flesh what to do. You see the role, the chain of command? Chain of command, chain of command. Like I said, I was reluctant to do this. I might lose a lot of people, but I have to do the will of my father. That's an unsaved person, whether you like it or not. Let's go over one more time. Unsaved people. You have to have a spirit because it's scientific proof. You have a pineal gland. To all you unsaved people, I don't have no soul. Explain the pineal gland to me. The third eye. Even atheists say they study it. This is like a it's like a portal. It's like a game. I think your soul's in it. I don't think it is your soul. I think your soul is in it. Because the, the Bible references it. If thine eye, not eyes, eye be full of light. So I think your your where's your soul? People say your soul is your brain. Close enough. The pineal gland is is right in your brain. I don't know where it is. I think it's in the middle hemisphere. Middle hemisphere. Yeah, the, the the your soul's in your pineal gland. Okay, so atheists explain the pineal gland to me. Oh, that's okay. But yeah, whatever. You have a soul. Let's get that clear. That's scientific fact. You have a soul. That's true. The soul has to be governed by a spirit. Is it the spirit of the devil or the spirit of God? Well, you're atheist. There is no God. So you're on your own God, which is really the devil in disguise. But there's no God. Remember, the devil wants to prove he doesn't exist. So you follow the will of your father, the lust of the devil. The spirit of Antichrist is in you. The spirit of Antichrist, you have to do what it says. Primarily, oh, of course you might disobey it and do something nice for someone, a righteousness act. I must say you're going to just Satanists have problems yield to Satan. Satanists have problems yielding to Satan, just like Christians have problems yielding to God. Don't tell me there's no nice Satanists on there. Don't tell me there's no nice Satanists. Rockefellers donate all the time to charities. Don't tell me that. It's all yielding. Satanists have problems yielding to the devil, just like Christians have problems yielding to God. Come on. That's the confusion. Is he saved or not saved? The devil likes to mix his children. Mingle. Co-mingle. Children of light with the children of the dark. So yeah, I could be a I could be a Satanist. I'm just speaking hypothetically. See, I knew you was a Satanist. I'm just speaking hypothetically. I could be a Satanist. Devil? No, I'm not killing that person. I'm not doing that. I have a problem using Satan. Oh, he must be saved. No, I'm just having a problem using it to him. 
I'm saying a Satanist person can do righteous act just like a righteous safe person can do sinful act. Tell me that's not true. Why well, you think God blesses Saudi Arabia? They, they're unsaved. They're Satanists. Let's see why he still blesses them. Look, maybe because the, the household is no, there's no question who's the boss. The man. Research Saudi Arabian culture. Their government. They don't play around. You kill someone, you're dead. God blesses right. God blesses righteousness and saved and unsaved people. He hates iniquity and saved or unsaved people. Let me say that one more time. That's important. God blesses righteousness in saved or unsaved people. God hates iniquity in saved or unsaved people. Doesn't care. He's not a respecter of persons in that case. In that context, yes, he's not a respecter of persons. If that's not the case. Why doesn't he blow up Saudi Arabia? No, they live in righteousness. They live in righteousness. Their heart is in sin, but they live in righteousness. Women keeps covered up. Arab, you see Saudi Arabian women look like our women? Come on. So anyways, atheists, you have three distinct personality characteristics. I don't know how you call it, three beings in you. Spirit of the Antichrist. For the most part, you do the will of your father. For the most part, that's the key. You don't do all of it. For the most part, you do the will of your father, which is the devil. The soul, remember, the soul is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is second in command. Jesus Christ tells what the Holy Ghost to do. In this case, the Holy Ghost is the flesh. You will do that. Submit to the will. You will do that. Now I'm talking, okay, that's how the dynamics, the Godhead is, is of you. When I say Godhead, I'm just talking about model. I'm not saying, uh, like I said, you have to be strong to understand what I'm saying. I'm just saying, use the Godhead chain and command as a diagram. That's all I'm using it. That's what God wants me to use it. Man, I'm a teacher. I'm a priest. I'm an authority figure. Not the authority. I'm a authority. That's why God... But it's just, this is not important. Why, why is it important for the Bible for God to know who He is? That He's three people in one and one in three. That's what God is. Three in one and one in three. And that they, they fellowship with each other. They're all the same, but make no mistake. One, there's a chain of command. God the Father, Jesus, go to the cross. Jesus said, I leave the earth. He's physically on the throne right now. I'll send the comforter, Holy Ghost. No, I don't want to go with him, Jesus. That's the comforter. No. Obedience. But people say blind obedience is sinful. Not in this way. Jesuits are like the most blind obedient people I know. And they're Satanists. This is blind obedience. God knows everything about blind obedience. Yeah, Jesus tempted, I don't know, cut, Father, let this cup pass me, but it's not my will, it's your will. So yeah, to sum up, if you're unsaved, that's your dynamic you're on. Your, your father is the devil, the lust of your father will do. That's God the Father in your in your mind, whether you know it or not. Spirit of the Antichrist is really the spirit of the devil. So the devil is inside you, you do the will of your father, which is the devil. Your soul in your eyes, whether you know it or not, is Jesus. What is Jesus? Jesus tells what the Holy Ghost is God in action, the movement. You tell the body what to do. And that's how you you walk in darkness because of that. Now you can do nice things, but mostly you walk in darkness. That's what the Bible says, not me. If you're unsaved, you're children of the night. Now let's flip that. Hey, the thing with mirrors, you why people say mirrors are things of uh, there's a mirror right here. They show reflections. Why I hear I, I believe it. Why I hear people that are possessed but the devil can't look at themselves in the mirror. Dracula has no reflection. I wonder why. Maybe because he's a follower of the devil. When you're a Christian, your goal, I'm not saying you're gonna achieve it, your goal is to ref, your 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 soul, spirit, body, and the spirit is not yours, your spirit is of your father. The real Father, the Holy Spirit. If you're saved, you have the Holy Spirit in you. One, you have your soul. Two, and your flesh. That three in you, remember, they all they have to match at least in role. In essence, they're not the same. Holy Ghost is not the same as me. I'm talking in distinction of roles. They have to match the Father. Remember, your will, remember, your will never match the Father. It'll, it'll close, it'll, you should be moving up. Some some people are like here. 
I'm probably like all the way down because I'm a filthy, rich, wretched. I know I'm not worthy of salvation. But your goal is to strive to be do the will of your Father. Jesus said, I do the will of my Father. So, I already said the threes. I'm not going to say Godhead because I want to lose you. I'll just say, whether you're saved or not, you have three. You have three people in one. And one in three, just like God. And if it's of the devil, you follow the devil's chain of command. And if it's of God, you follow God's chain of command. So, I already described an uh, unsaved person. Now I describe a safe person. A safe person, Holy Ghost. Remember, the Holy Ghost is just as God the Father as God the Father. So that is your governing guide. So it's not, don't tell me to sin to say, I got the Holy Ghost in me. So I mean, that means I have God the Father in me. That's absolutely right. That means I have Jesus Christ in me. But aren't they separate? Yes, they are. They're separate but equal. If you have one, you have all three in you. So you do Holy Holy. The Holy Ghost is your Father. It's your governing. I'm not, don't confuse the Holy Ghost with God the Father. I'm just saying, in terms of daily guidance, that force in you, may the force be with you. This is your force. That's why Star Wars is another, not a Christian movie. Don't tell me it doesn't have Christian values. Okay, notice people of the dark side. I don't know, children of the night, dark side. What is this Star Wars? And the force is always bright. What is this? What is George Luke talking to me about? What is this? May the force with me. The dark for the force, the dark side of the force. What is this dark side of the force? No, I'll let you figure that out. I'm not gonna tell you everything about Star Wars. Uh so yeah, you fall chain of command and you recognize that they're all the same, but they're all different. The Godhead. Not your Godhead. I'm not saying your oh, are you saying the Holy Ghost in them? It's the same as the soul. No. That's why I said I'll lose you. No. Holy Ghost is the same as in the God of Godhead. Holy Ghost is the same. Don't tell me the Holy Ghost is not the same in essence as Jesus Christ is God the Father. It's just that like he's subordinate to the two. He does what they say. They meaning Jesus Christ and God the Father. I'm talking about the three distinct uh, characteristics, I guess you say, in you. I'm talking about say first. The Holy Ghost is your Father. Not to be confused. I'm talking your father in the sense you, you submit to its will. That's what I mean. Your soul is not Christ. I know I don't have Christ consciously. Remember, I'm saved. My soul, my soul is not Christ, but it's Christ-like. So it submits to the will of the Father. Remember, I'm just hypothetically speaking. Okay? Remember, I'm, I'm not Christ, but I'm Christ-like. Don't tell me I'm not Christ-like because I'm saved. If I'm Christ-like, so... The Holy Ghost in me, uh, hypothetically speaking, is technically my Father. Does, does that make sense? If it not make sense, sorry. It could be me. But the Holy Ghost in you, you need to think of it as the God the Father in you, because God the Father is in you. You submit to its will. I'm talking about as far as the soul is concerned. The soul does not do what it wants to do. Jesus Christ does not do what he wants to do, even though he could, because he has free will. Don't tell me he has no free will. I submit to your will, Father. Does that mean you, remember, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm Christ-like, but not Christ. That means I'm always going to do the will of the Father. No, because I'm not Christ. I won't always do it. I'll stray away. But, yeah, I say Christian, what, what's the point? Chain of command, that's my point. Know the chain of command, know there's threes in everywhere. Death come in threes. Save person, Holy Ghost, tells your soul what to do, and your soul tells your body what to do. Is that, can I explain it any simpler? The Holy Ghost is similar. I'm just hypothetically speaking. I'm comparing it. Holy Ghost is similar to the God the Father, which they are. It is God the Father. It's just that is Holy Ghost is not telling God the Father what to do. But in your case, you think of it as your Father because you, you do the will of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is like God the Father. Your soul is like Christ. Your flesh is like the Holy Spirit. That's all I'm saying. Let's, let's talk about the unsaved person. Your father is the devil, and the lust of your father you'll do. Okay, I got, remember, you have to have a spirit. Un, I don't want to hear it. Unsaved or saved people have to have a spirit. What guides you? Do you like doing what you want to do? Then you're the devil. I'm talking about always want to do what you want to do. Are you flesh? You like to do what you want to do all the most of the time? Then you're the devil. So you have three characteristics. 
You have an antichrist like uh, spirit, spirit of the antichrist. You have a, you think you're Jesus, your soul, because because you do what you think you're self righteous and you do things in your own flesh. You, you are Jesus, so you got your Christ consciousness, and you got your flesh. Now remember, this is the devil. The devil likes anarchy. That means it seems like they don't, they're not following each other, but they really are. That really lose you there. What are you talking about? What I'm saying is, it seems like you're not governed by the devil, but you are. Remember, the devil doesn't want you to make you think you're following him. He wants to make you think you're doing, you're doing things because you want to do it. That's the genius of the devil. I told you don't disrespect the devil. Respect him 100%. He makes you think like it's you're doing it in your own power, but you're doing it in his power. Okay? That's the thing. It looks like, oh, it's no chain of command with the devil. There's a chain of command. Most of the time, you're going to do the will of the devil. Most of the time, the soul is going to do what the flesh tells it. The, the flesh is going to do what the soul tells it to do. The flesh submits to the soul. The soul submits to the Antichrist spirit. I'm talking down three to one. That's what I'm getting at. The flesh submits to the will of the soul. This is if you're unsaved. The flesh submits to the will of your, to your soul. And the soul submits to the will of your, the spirit. Spirit what? Spirit of Antichrist. That's all I'm saying. It seems like you, you're doing what you want to do. No, you're doing the will of your father. It's the devil. Don't tell me I didn't want to commit fornication with that woman. I wanted to do it. Really? If you're saved, you might. If you're saved, you might have fornicated her, but no. This is the difference between a saved person. When he sins, he knows he sinned. No, this is not the will of my father. Saved person? No, it's not the will of no one's father. I did. I wanted to fornicate her. What are you talking about? You're serving the devil even though you think you're not. All you people celebrating these holidays, December 25th. This is Jesus Christ. Really? I just told you that's a pagan holiday. Really? The devil wants you to do whatever you like, just like T.I. said, but you're following his orders. It's chain of command. Your fault, whether you're saved or not, there's a chain of command. Does that make sense? I'm sorry if I'm losing people. I... I I did. I'm not sorry because I warned you. Be strong in spiritual discernment. Let me say that simply. Save the unsaved people. There's a chain of command. You know the rules. That's all I'm saying. Let's let's take that word Godhead out because you're saying he's God. Me take. Remember, I gotta choose my words. Remember wisely. I keep saying that. If you're unsaved, whether you know it or not, there's a chain of command you follow. Three distinctions. Antichrist spirit tells your soul. Which the soul tells the flesh what to do. Let, let me let, let me lay it out to you, illustrate it, paint a picture in your mind. The devil in me, remember, you have a devil in me, not not a devil, the devil. The Satan's soul is Satan's spirit is in you if you're unsaved. Plain and simple, you have the spirit of Antichrist. The lust of the father, you will do. He's just that's what I'm saying. You're a bastard. Sorry, that's what the Bible calls you. You're a spiritual bastard. What is a bastard? Let's dissect that word. A bastard, in, in terms of biological, is as a kid without no father. You're unsaved. You're a spiritual bastard. According to God, don't blame me. That's what God calls you. A spiritual bastard. I have no father. You think you don't have a father. You have a father. It's just that the devil is your father by default. I'm a children of the light. Light. I'm not, I'm not God. I'm not God's son. In that sense, I'm adopted. When you adopt someone, are they fleshly your son I got adopted so no but are they in your family yes I'm adopted child of God no, I'm telling you I'm not I'm a child of the light I have a name now I'm, I'm I do the will of God the Father I'm a child of light I'm adopted God that's what salvation is being adopted Jesus Christ wants to adopt you to his father's family say yes let him in your heart does that make sense if that doesn't make sense sorry me does it, I gotta think. I gotta think just like you, but can't say that word. I think I gotta yield to the Holy Ghost. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's simplify salvation. Jesus Christ has an invitation. Are you sick of being part of the devil's family? That's what Jesus Christ says. Tommy, are you sick of being in the devil's family? Chaos, anarchy. Do you want to be in my father's family? Let me adopt you. Accept me as your master let me into your heart give me your heart that's what Jesus Christ says give me your heart 
And then once you say yes, he gives you the two gifts, faith and repentance, pricks your heart, and now you're saved. Now spiritually, don't say, get me wrong, your flesh is still of the devil, it's demonic, sinful nature. But spiritually, I'm of the God the Father. I'm adopted into his family. So, yeah, chain of command. Unsaved, there's a chain of command, and there's three just characteristics. I don't care if you believe in God or not. Antichrist spirit tells the soul what to do. The soul tells the flesh what to do. And the flesh obeys it most of the time. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. The Antichrist spirit in you, think of that as the Holy Ghost. The soul, instead of uh, God's salvation, no, I can save myself. I'm a man God, remember? The soul is like Jesus, like Jesus. No, not like Jesus. If you're unsaved, it is Jesus. You think it's Jesus. Because you can't go to the heaven without imputed righteousness. It has to be given to you. So no, me, me, see, I told you this is even complicated. And a Christ is, is like God the Father in your eyes, whether you know it or not, if you're unsaved. And your soul is Jesus. Remember, either you follow the will of the real Jesus or your, your own Jesus. It is not like Jesus. It is your Jesus. And the flesh is like the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is God in action, movement. And the spirit, the, the flesh is subordinate to the spirit. The, the flesh is subordinate to the soul, and the soul is subordinate to the spirit. What's a subordinate mean? It means under, sub, submarine, go underwater, subordinate. That means the flesh should, although he won't most of the time, do what the soul tells it to do. What I'm talking about, I'm talking about an you know, unsafe person. Most of the time, the flesh should do what the soul tells it to do, and the soul and the spirit most of the time should tell the spirit most of the time should do what the, the the soul has to do what the spirit tells it to do. See I'm how I'm confusing myself, but let's let's repeat it one more time. The most of the time the flesh so is it is submitted to the will of the soul of unsaved person and the soul most of the time is submitted to the will of the father, which is the devil. All I'm saying is chain of command in there. Threes. Okay? That's all I'm saying. This is a subordinate class. Oh, it seems like you're doing whatever you want to do, but you're not. You're doing what the devil wants you to do. The flesh is submissive to the soul, which you think you... You don't need Christ, so you must be... It's one way or the other. If you don't need Christ, then you are Christ. Christ consciousness. It's one or the other. Remember I told you absolutes? I don't need Christ. Okay, then you're saying you are Christ. My righteousness is good enough to get me to go to heaven. So, I'm Christ. So, here's my Godhead. The flesh... It's not Christ-like, it's Christ. See how that like word, that word like is a big difference? It's not. The, 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 flesh tell, the flesh is submissive to the soul, and the soul is submissive to the spirit. Okay? That's the chain of command you follow. Here's your chain of command if you're unsaved. Number one is the Antichrist spirit. It's your father. Most of the time, you're going to do what the, the devil wants you to do. Remember, I don't need Christ. So the soul... It's not Christ-like. It is Christ. I have my own righteousness. I'm a self-righteous guy. Look all these good things I'm doing. And the soul will, will command what the flesh to do. Most of the time, the flesh is going to obey. Okay? If you're unsaved, can you do righteous things? Yes. But is it mostly of the flesh? Absolutely. That's the distinction. You can... Do all the righteous things you want. Here's where I think you're going to understand this. You can do all the righteous things you want. This is an unsaved person. It's in the flesh. What does, that, what does that mean? You're doing the will of the devil, not the will of God. You can serve the, the will of the devil and still do nice things. Look at all these gospel, prosperity preachers. They're helping people go into Christ. Rockefellers donate millions of dollars. The Catholic Church donates millions of dollars to charities. No. And the flesh dwelleth no good thing. Remember, I'll tell you what happens in heaven, the great white throne of judgment. Anything of the flesh gets burned. Wait a minute. Everything in righteousness, I'm doing it of the flesh. That includes my soul. Get the picture? If you're of the flesh, you're unsaved, you can be righteous all you want. It's of the flesh. Okay? Things of the flesh get burned. What things? Everything. Good works. Your soul, if the soul is of the devil, 
doesn't matter. Everything. If it is of the devil, it is your works and you is going to get burned. Here's what happens in the great white throne of judgment for unsaved people. Say, I did more good than bad. You ever heard of that? The good outweighs the bad. I did more good than bad. Okay. But there's a problem. The more good and bad is of the flesh. You did good in the, as according to the world of the devil. Yeah, you gave a lot of money to the people. The poor people that make you feel good. Look what I am. I'm, like, I'm a good man. I donated all this money. You divided that good, that credit. God doesn't want to divide credit. It's all God or no. People who do works in the flesh, yeah, they do good works, but they make them feel good. Me, puff up that chest. I did that. I thought of this. I'm brilliant. Even though what you know is the God the Father telling you. Everything gets burned up of the flesh. Works in you. The difference is a saved person, yeah, his works of the flesh gets burned up, but not his spirit. That's the key word. My spirit doesn't burn because it's of the Father. There's people in heaven right now. They bet I can believe this. I don't say no. I say I can believe it. If you tell me this, it's rare, very rare. But this spirit, this people in heaven, they did more bad than good. They are carnal Christian. Don't tell me there's no such thing as a carnal Christian. So being saved, yes, they are. They they are called the people that go sin unto death. Sin unto death happens with saved believers. That's when they willfully go back to continuous unrepentant sin, and God says, "Okay, I gotta destroy your body and come up to heaven." So yeah. This is how it is with heaven and hell. There's people in heaven because they died because of sin unto death. They probably have no good works, so they probably just live in heaven, have no inheritance. And there's someone in hell saying, "Why am I here? Why do all these good works? It's of the flesh. Everything has to get burned up. Works and flesh, works and spirit, works and soul. If it's of the devil, gets burned up. Of God, your your." Things in the flesh still get burned up, not your soul, because it's of God. It doesn't get burned up. Does that make sense? Okay? You get judged either way. The question is, which gets burned? That's the question. Is just my works is getting burned, or is my soul going to burn? I'll tell you what burns, what consumes it, of the devil. Anything of the devil gets burned, your soul is of the devil. You have the Antichrist spirit. It's going to get burned. But I did more bad than good. doesn't matter. I mean, I, get, I did more good than bad. Doesn't matter. I'm, why am I hell? The good outweighs the bad. Doesn't matter. Your soul's of the devil. Your father is the devil. So he gets burned. That's why he's going to hell. I'm saved. Damn, I didn't feel like. That's a good thing when saved people say, I didn't feel like I did enough. Good. I thought I did more bad than good. Good. That's good. I didn't go. I didn't do this. I didn't go. That. All that doesn't matter because you can't do nothing to earn it or justify it. But why am I in heaven? Oh, I know. I submitted to the will of my father. Doesn't matter what works. Yeah, I wish I had that much rewards. Someone in hell. Hey, it's better to be in heaven with no rewards. Hey, you heard about this. This was a rap album cover title. It's better to serve in heaven than reign in hell. Keanu said that in Devil's Advocate. What do you know? And that's the devil. There's no reigning in hell. You're suffering. The devil wants to make you think hell is a wonderful place. You're going to reign with him. No, no, I'd rather reign in hell than serve in heaven. No, you're not reigning in hell. You're suffering in hell. You're still serving. You can reign with heaven and be a partaker with Christ, depending on your rewards and how much you yield. Is this making sense? So to sum up, now I'm talking to a believer. People say Christian walk. Remember, Difference between the path, knowing the path, and walking. Don't tell me this is the same. What's the path? Here's the path. The path is do as God does. What would Jesus do? God the Father tells what tells the Son what to do, and the Son obeys it without question. And the Son tells the Holy Ghost what to do, and the Holy Ghost does not question. Obeys it without question. Now, of course you're going to question God. That's okay. But follow that paradigm, that model you're three people in one you don't have the antichrist spirit you got the holy ghost in you same thing as the father but it's 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 your father telling you what to do it's still the god the father just as much just not in relation to the god i'm talking about in you in your paradigm in your structure in your model you do what it does it'll tell you what to do you can choose or not to 
There's a difference between the devil and God. The God you, with love, love can be forced. It gives you orders. The Holy Ghost gives you orders. Think of it as a general. It'll tell you what to do. You can choose or not to obey it. But most of the time, you better be obeying it. Most of the time. Okay? And uh, the Holy Ghost tells the soul what to do, and the soul tells what the flesh to do. The flesh is like the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is in motion. The Holy Ghost is the doer of God. We're supposed to be the doers of the word. The Holy Ghost is God in motion. So, start, probably start confusing you, because I, I know you're probably saying, okay, he's saying he's God. Well, I'm, so I'm not saying that. I'm saying using it as a model, applying it to your walk. So I'm not going to use the God no more. Think of it as the uh, Holy Ghost being the general. Army, remember, soldier for Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost is a general. I don't know what comes next. I think it's colonel. Holy Ghost is a general. It's the same person. Holy Ghost is a general. You do what it does without question. And your soul, remember, it's Christ-like. That means it's a servant to the Father. It's the colonel. And your flesh is a soldier. Soldier what? Soldier actually does... The shooting. Now, no, yeah, there's times in war generals actually doing the fighting, but primarily the soldiers are actually the one. You know that the you army people know what I'm talking about. The general really is in combat. He's the order giver. He oversees everything like God the Father does. It's how you know when when the army is gonna win a war or not. Are they following the chain of command? The general is like the God the Father of the army. It's it's will. You do the will of the general. That's it. Like, oh yeah, you can say I don't want. You can choose to disobey, but if you don't do it, you die. And the colonel dispenses orders, and he might be on the battlefield, and the soldiers are like the Holy Ghost, actually doing it. Tell me in history. I'm talking to you, history boss. Which army succeed the most and fail? The ones that fall chain of command. Hitler's army was disarray. Uh, there's a there's a Sun Tzu war, Sun Tzu Art of War documentary that their chain of command is all whacked up. Of course, it's all whacked up. They're the devil. They hit to give us his orders. This is all. Who tells us what to do? I don't know whether I'm coming or going. What are my orders? That's why they lost. Chain of command. All I'm saying. I'm sorry if you're confused, but let me simplify. Because like I said, if I can't explain it. Simply to a child, I don't understand it. I'm talking to a saved person. All, you, all I know that you're, you're three people and you're one people. Just like God is three persons and one person. Three and one, one and three. That's you. Because remember, you're God-like. You're not God, but you're God-like. Just, just want you to be aware of that fact. Now you no longer have the Antichrist spirit in you. Antichrist spirit in you. You have God's spirit. That's the head of command. That's number one. Two, you got your soul, which is Christ-like. That's Jesus Christ. Three, you got the Holy Ghost, which is your flesh in action. Just know this is a, make sure you're following the chain of command. Am I, am I clear? How am I doing my Christian walk? Well, follow, am I following the chain of command here? Did I do this out of the flesh, good or bad, or out of the spirit? Am I following chain of command? Am I do I am I doing this video video? Because I'm yielding to the Holy Ghost. Because I'm, a, I was reluctant at first to do this video. No, I'm doing that. It's good. That battle means that I'm doing the right thing. Remember, there's no battle in you. You're not saved. Supposed to be a battle. Don't do this video. Do it. That's a good thing. Oh, he's paranoid. No, no, no. I'm just being honest. There's a struggle inside me. I'm not saying there's voices inside my head that's demon possession. I'm saying there's a. I feel the urge. It's urge. I feel the urge to do this video. No, don't do it. Yeah, that's a good thing. You're on the way. You are saved, or you're, or you're on the way. If this is how you, this is about being fully trying to be fully in your Christian walk. Just make sure you're following the chain of command. Think, think. You can think of it as whatever you want. Just think of it as this way. There has to be a general, Holy Ghost. There has to be a colonel, soul. There has to be the flesh, soldier. General, colonel, soul. Uh, general, colonel, soldier. General, not in the field of battle. He's outside the battle. Gives orders to the colonel. The colonel is actually on. Uh, might be lieutenant. Doesn't matter. They're both subordinates to the general. Colonel and lieutenant. They're actually on the field of battle. They tell the soldier what to do. The soldier is in it. What, what does the soldier have to be? But 
My colonel said, go storm that hill. I might get killed. No, it doesn't matter. Blind obedience. If you're a Christian soldier, I'm talking about really a soldier. You know what I'm talking about. You obey or die. Stand fast. This is a war, spiritual warfare. Yeah, I should have used army. Army is real good. Yeah, the Holy Ghost is your general. Okay, the soul is your lieutenant. The flesh is your soldier. You think of like that, you follow the chain of command. I'm not saying you're always going to obey, but you do that most of the time, you're on the way to be conformed to the image of the Son. You won't be perfect, but you're on the way. Just walk in the path. You're not going to get to the destination because if you get to the end, you're, you're dead. People say, when the God kills you, I believe he takes you when you're at the end of your Christian path. The question is, are you walking in God's path or the devil's path? And if you're walking in God's path, are you walking or you're crawling or you're running? I'm walking. I'm not saying I'm running. Most people, praise God, are people that are running. I'm walking the path. Some people are crawling. Praise God. At least they are on God's path. Remember, you can't earn or justify your salvation. So yeah, think of it like this. Unsaved people, you follow a chain of command. The colonel, the general, is the devil. Your soul is the lieutenant. It's for unsaved people. And the, the flesh is a soldier. Most of the time you're following. One is obeying the other. means submissive to the other. A Christian household, chain of command, father, son, child. And if you're saved, am I doing the will of my father, the general? Father, hey, didn't they call a general the father general in the army? Wasn't that Julius Caesar spread? <laughs> they call him father general. Am I doing the will of my father general? Hey, this is a warfare. You do a hardness for a good soldier to be a good soldier for Jesus Christ. Are you Christ's soldier? Are you submitting the will of your father general? And is your flesh submitting to the will of Jesus Christ, the, the colonel? Christ-like, you're Christ-like, you're not Christ. Colonel, if you're the army, all you World War II veterans know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. I've been in the war. I'm talking about people who actually been in the war. Yeah. Even sometimes I'm weary. Do I want to follow my general's order? I follow. We obey chain of command. Do you know George Washington used to kill soldiers because they fell asleep on lookout? Got to make an example of them. Chain of command. Kill them. That's a historical fact. Kill soldiers who had an important role to look out for the enemy. Kill them. George Washington was alive. Absolutely. I know what he's talking about. Chain of command. This is what this video is about. Chain of command. You already talked about it. You talked about it again. Yeah, it must be really important. Just be aware there's three things in you. Saved or not saved. If you're not saved, it's the Antichrist spirit, one. That's the number one, in order. Antichrist spirit, one. Two is your soul. You think you can do it in your own. You go to heaven on your own way. And your flesh, three. What's the difference between that and a saved person? Well, a saved person is the will of the Father, Holy Ghost, one. The will of the Father, God the Father. Two, Jesus Christ. His teachings, the way he served the Father, the way he served Jesus Christ. Three, your flesh. You see the common, and there's a commonality in both of them. You already know what it is, right? Flesh. Flesh doesn't change either way. The flesh is the same in an unsaved person than in a saved person. Well, how do I know if I'm saved? It's just that it will submit to its will most of the time. That's the difference. I still feel depraved. Well, you are. I'm saved. I still feel totally depraved. Well, you are. Unsaved and saved person, the flesh does not change. I cannot stipulate that more enough. Sinful nature stays the same. Well, I'm making an argument. It's worse than a saved person. Now it knows you're onto it. Now it wants to do You have a rebellious soldier on your hands. What does the, what the Bible says to do when, when the flesh wants to rebel? Mortify it. You will submit to my Father's will. You're talking to your flesh. Mortify the deeds of the flesh. Die daily. I deny myself on a daily basis. I kill that soldier that fell asleep at the lookout. You're dead. You have a lot of soldiers, a lot of soldiers in your army. That soldier falls asleep, I'll kill him too. I'll keep killing. Think of the soldiers and your sinful thoughts. I'll keep killing these sinful thoughts until they do what I say. I'm talking about your thoughts, your thoughts in general. 
These centaurs, I'll keep killing it until they don't until they do what I say. I'll get tempted? No. Gone. Remember, temptation is not a sin. No, I won't entertain that thought. Gone. Mortify it. Stop that crop cockroach. So that's all I'm saying. Know this three's and everything, saved and unsaved, and there's a chain in command. Be aware of it. Know the rules. Okay? General, lieutenant, soldier. All three make the army. What is the army? Well, the army's simple. What is a family? It's three and one and one and three. The family is father, son, child. Each piece is a part of the whole, but it also is the whole. What is my is my biological mother and father gods compared to me? No. I know my role in this household. I do what they say. Let me put it in terms of family. This is my last try. Uh, I'm talking biologically, I'm talking about here. Uh, do I know I'm more enlightened than he is because I know he's unsaved? Not absolutely. Do, when I still obey him because this is his house, you better believe I will. That goes to my mother. Does the sign sink in? I know my role. I'm the Holy Ghost in this, if you think of it in this role, family role. I'm the third part. I'm the soldier. I do what they say. Honor your father and your mother. And my father, uh, my father's the head of the house. So he does, my mother does the will of his husband. And do we have that in the family? No. Not following the chain of command. Why not? God followed his chain of command in the Godhead. Father is the Lord of the house. You can give him opinions. It begins and ends with him, though. My decision. Man's house is his castle. King. He's the king of the household. Sarah called Abraham Lord. Do our wives call their husbands Lord? Lord. Oh, he's saying he's God. No. He's in a God-like position of authority. Yes. That's why they call government the ministers of God. Well, the father is the minister of the household. You submit to his will. The wife. The wife submits the will of the father, dispenses the will of the father to her children. All threes, all chain of commands. All roles, one, two, three. And those are all roles. I'm not going to tell them what to do. I'm going to do what they told me to do. You must be above them. You must be a superman. No, I'm on the same flesh and bone as them. We're all three men. I'm not saying human beings. We're not gods. Is this sign sinking? That's all I'm saying. There's threes in the family, threes and role of command, chain of command in the army. There's threes in chain of command in the Godhead. You want to be fully in your Christian walk? Make sure you're obeying. Make sure one part is obeying the other. Make sure you make sure you do your soul is doing the will of the Holy Ghost, and your flesh is doing the will of your soul. I don't know. If if, if it's mostly the answer is yes, then you're saved. This work is very difficult because remember, I'm not God. I don't know your heart. But most of the time, yes, you're saved. Is there a battle? Do you feel like you feel the urge to do something, but you know you shouldn't? That's a good sign you're saved. Remember, unsaved people don't have that. Oh, they can have a conscience, but they're not governed by it. This thing about you ever say he has a good conscience. My conscience won't allow it. If you're saved, you're you submit the will. Of mostly. You have a good conscience, clear conscience is what the Bible teaches you. You're unsaved, most of the time you're not having a clear conscience. It's all crap thoughts going in your head. Remember, all you have to do is entertain a sin, you sin. Relive it, you sin. And you can, don't tell me you can't do that willfully. So that's for all you guys with that heretical doctrine. You willfully sin once, you're never saved. Don't give me that trash. Uh, that, that I'm not doing no more, but I used to. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm saved. I, I didn't do nothing. I, oh, I thought about that sin. I entertained it. I sinned again, but I didn't do it. doesn't matter. How many people know that? I relived it. I'm entertaining in a sin. I'm thinking about, I'm, not, I'm hypothetically speaking. I'm thinking about doing something right now in my head. It's tempted. That's not a sin. But I play it out in my head. You ever heard of that term? Play it out in your head. You sinned. It doesn't matter willfully or not. You sinned. We underestimate how easy it is to sin. 
Of course, God knows how easy it is to sin. That's why it can't be done in my own flesh. It has to be done by the blood of the Lamb. So, to wrap up, yeah, this is the most controversial video of us. Only the spiritually discern will understand. Don't tell me this is me. There's probably bones. Probably more bones in this video than make no bones about it. Probably more bones in this video than any other video, but there's some meat. Eat the meat, spit out the bones so you don't choke on the bones. Okay? I know I'm doing the will of my father. I could mess this up 100%. I was doing the will of my father. Those who are submitted to the will of the father will say, there's a voice in your head saying, yeah, but he meant this. No, he didn't mean it that way. And if you're the will of the devil, see? He's a heretic saying he's God. Turn this off. It's all about discernment. That's between saved and unsaved people. They are more discerned than unsaved people. Yeah, it comes across what he's saying is demonic, but I know what he's saying is good. He meant well. You heard that saying? He meant well. And if you're unsaved, no. Just talking about you know, Christ like. There's no difference between Christ like and Christ. You're saying you're Christ. Discernment. This shows I have discernment. Yeah, all I know, there's threes in everywhere in nature. Same in the animal kingdom. What's the, the cub tells the lion what to do, his father. And who, the lion is the king of the jungle. The male lion. How you know he's male? With the mane. Same as the animal kingdom. They know better. It's sad. Animals understand the chain of command more than we do. It's the truth. But aren't we animals anyways? We evolutionists? It's a shame. The animal kingdom know what I'm talking about. An animal follows the chain of command better than I do. That's why I'm a, that's why I'm depraved. Totally depraved. It's true. Satanists, the Jesuits, follow their chain of command more than I do. Yeah, I'll give you that. They're more obedient. They're soldiers. But here's, here's the good thing. I know I'm not worthy. I know I'm going to heaven. They're going to hell. But they obey. Cheetah come in. Yeah. But they're obeying the wrong general. They're obeying the, the devil. Don't get it twisted. You can get this twisted very easy. I'm talking about chain of command and obeying chain of command. But make sure it's of God, not of the devil. How you discern, that's up to you. Right. Is this the will of the Father I'm doing here? Will the will of the devil? Save the unsaved person needs to ask that. Is this the will of the flesh or the will of the spirit? Because I know in the judgment seat of Christ, all works, including the soul, that's of the flesh, gets burned up. Save the unsaved. That's what you better realize. You know, I tell you, put it through the fire. God is a consuming fire. I know every work I did, doesn't matter. I, this is how depraved I am. After everything I just told you, I think I actually did more good and bad in life. God, God, I already, I already know what God's saying right now. No, you didn't. You're an evil person. No, no, God. I'm, I'm saying sarcastically. Sarcastically. No, I did more good and bad in my life. You know, I did this, 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 that. God's up there saying, we'll see when you get up here, son. No, of the flesh, burned. Of the flesh, burned. Of the flesh, okay, there you go. You did that video of the spirit. He was reluctant. You fought a little bit of meat, but you accepted. Crown. Of the flesh, you you gave money to the poor, but you told everybody about it. You divided your glory. Of the flesh, burn. You see, that's that's how God is. God is the supreme judge. This is the unsaved person what he's going to do. You did do a lot of good works, more than bad works. Problem. They are of the flesh. Why? Because you submitted to the will of the devil, which is your father. So your works get burned, and you get burned. That's what he says in the judgment seat of Christ. Jesus Christ. Remember, all authorities be given to him. Unsaved person, you will not see God the Father. No one goes to the Father but through me. You want to go through Christ? You better accept him. Saved person, I want to see God the Father. And he's a spirit, but don't give me that, that he doesn't have a face. He's the Father, not God. God the Father. He can assume a, a face and have hands. He has a throne. What? what? It's not Jesus Christ's throne. I sit, I sit on the throne of my Father. It's God the Father's throne. Why have a throne if I'm a spirit? If I'm, yeah, I'm not naturally a spirit, but God the Father can assume a, a, a masculine spirit. I don't know, apparition. Don't tell me he doesn't have a face and hands. Why does he need a throne for? Well, that's Jesus Christ's throne. No, I sit on the throne of my Father to make my enemies my footstool. Jesus Christ's throne is right here on earth, the Davidic throne in the thousand year reign of the millennial kingdom. Earthly throne? Yes. I take the Bible literally. It's an earthly throne. He will sit on the throne of David, his father. 
and rule from Jerusalem with a rod of iron. iron. Remember, when you see Jesus Christ, he's in the physical. And you, you will see his marks. That's from reminder. Oh, no, that get regenerated, he's all healed. No, that's to remind you of the sacrifice. It's those marks on his hand. <laughs> that's proof why, that's a reminder of why you're here. Why? You're not going to say that, but just, I'm just jokingly speaking. If I'm in heaven, why am, why am I in, in the new Jerusalem? Jesus, this is a joke. Why am I in the new Jerusalem again? Jesus Christ will tap you on the shoulder. This is why. See the hands, the marks, the nails. Well, yeah, you might have the marks of the, the crown of thorns. The... Imagine you put a crown of thorns on your head, God, what he did for me. And yeah, you guarantee he has that spear. I don't know where it is, left or right. This is why you're here, son. Remember, you have a garment of light. So he's not going to become naked to me. He'll show the hands. This is why you're here, son. Remember what I did for you. I died for you, and you accepted me. Those marks are not going nowhere. And I can touch them. But if I'm unsaved, problem, you're not seeing his father. All authority has been given to me. No one calls to the Father but through me. You want to see my Father? Let's see, let's see where you're at here. Okay. Bear no fruit here, but you accepted me. No fruit. Everything was of the flesh, burn. But here, me. Remember, he's like he's a regular guy like you. Then he'll get you like this. Come and see my Father. Okay. My, I want to cry now, but my pride won't let me show it. That's what Jay-Z said. I want to feel like tearing up. I'm totally depraved. But, yeah, this is probably where I would cry now. But, no, I'm not going to fake cry. Don't don't get... You know, I, I used to... With my girlfriend, I used to... I, I have the... Have, I don't know if I still have... I have the ability to cry at will, so don't get fooled with these Christians. <laughs> yeah, I got saved. <laughs> They're faking it. I can fake crying. Remember, I told you I hate crying. I know God picked my heart when I got saved because I cried like a baby. A force kid. I couldn't control it. I'm feeling the tingling right now. Remember, God's a consuming fire. I'm feeling it right now. Remember. Feel the tingling sensation? Oh, that's numbness. Really? Oh, if you're unsaved, it might be of the devil. But I'm saved. I feel the tingling. You know why I feel that? When you talk about something, you relive the past because there is no past. I talk about me my, getting saved that day, February 8th. Remember, there's no such thing as past and future. I relive it. That's why I get to take this sensation. I cry like a baby. I don't cry. I told you that. I don't cry. I, yeah, tear. You know, this crying. I, how does a newborn baby cry? You guys know what I'm talking about? Those who have newborn babies? That's like, do you have to cry like that to be godly sorry if God pricked your heart? Something to that effect. Yeah. But can you have to know? Being pricked of your heart, repentance, this is what most preachers say. There is no repentance. Just uh, believe Jesus Christ. Give him your heart. Just have faith. Uh, repentance comes after that. No. I think repentance comes first. It's two sides of the same coin. He pricks your heart. This is a salvation is important. So I'm going to go over it one more time. He pricks your heart. Godly sorrow. Godly sorrow. What could repentance? Repentance is a gift from him. He convicts you. You break down. It's like the old self is destroyed. Neo gets shot in the... Do, do, do. He died in the alleyway. He died to self. Crucified with, crucified with Christ in the flesh. Your flesh is crucified. He gave you the faith to believe. And then you're born again. You're in his, that, you ever heard of that thing? You, you, you lost, you, that kid lost his innocence. Oh, I lost my innocence. That innocence comes back. It doesn't, what, what defines a newborn baby? His innocence. The devil took it away. That's why if a baby dies, he goes to heaven. He's still innocent. He doesn't know between good and evil. He's still innocent. Calvinists disagree. They go to hell. No. He's been reconciled. Babies go to heaven. He's not the age of accountability. Okay? When you get to that age, you lose your innocence. You got to get it back. How can I get that innocence back? Through, Jesus, through the blood of Jesus Christ. That's the only way. Okay? Okay? You have to understand, Jesus Christ is what, you guys call me a heretic. Jesus Christ died on the cross, not to you to go to heaven. Oh, he's a heretic! To give you the opportunity, if you're accountable, I'm talking about you're past that age, it gives you the opportunity, it's a gift. 
A gift can only be a gift if you receive it. Guys going like this. I have a gift. Eternal life. He's not doing this to a baby because a baby accepts it by default. He doesn't know better. So he's going to heaven. But he does this to unsaved believer. Uns God, God the praise I am, unsaved believer. God does it. Hey, I, got, I got a gift. There's a movie out called The Gifts. God, Jesus Christ has a gift. He's knocking on the door of your heart. You can't go to heaven on your own. Remember, think of him as a regular guy because he is. He's all man and all God. Hey, uh, you can't go to heaven on your own, man. When you don't know you're a sinner and you need to repent. Okay? Let me knock on your heart. I got this free gift to you. It's only a gift. It's a check. Check only be cashed if it's endorsed. I give you a million dollar check. Oh, look what I did. I, owned the, I earned a million dollars. No, you didn't earn nothing. I gave you a check. A million dollars. How can it be used? It can only be used if you endorse it. You go to a bank. See how God's providence? I got to cash. Yeah, I want to cash this check. A million dollars. It's mine. There you go. Tell us this. You got to endorse it. You got to accept the gift of Christ, his salvation, his blood. It's a blood check. You got to accept it. Endorse it here, please. Okay. You Now you accept the gift. Now you're in Christ. You've been sealed to the day of redemption. But how is it with work, salvation, religion? No. You can make your own check. I can make my own righteousness. You don't need a check from God, even though sin debt is infinite. That's what they call hell, debtor's prison. No, you need an infinite sin. You know the infinite sign. That better be on your check and it be endorsed. And make sure who gives you that check is God, not the devil. Because God, the devil can give you an infinite check. No, trust me, I'm God. Here you go. Endorse this check. You know who endorses that check of the devil? Taking the mark. You're not saved. Remember. I'll end with this. In the tribulation, don't tell me you don't know your Bible. Don't tell me there's no, there's not a work involved for you to be insane. If you're unsaved and in the tribulation, yes, there is. I ask for God. I want to believe. He pricks my heart. He gives me the gifts of repentance. He gives me the faith to believe. Am I, am I saved? Mm, depends. Well, I believe you are. If you do those things, you are. That, that tells me you are. You won't take the mark. Cut my head off. I'm saved. Oh, it's a work. You better believe it. But technically, it's not a work. Technically, it's not. Because you're doing the will of your Father. It's a work. Of, okay, it's a work. But it's a work of the Spirit, not the flesh. To say that way. Yeah. Because it makes it clear. That's how you post tribbers look ridiculous. You're going to take the mark. You're going to lose your salvation. He who takes the mark will incur my wrath. Hell. So you post tribbers. That's what you're saying. Oh, don't worry. We won't take the mark. Okay. By yourself, how are you going to take care of your family? You're in a pickle there, deadly of a pickle. He who not provides for his family is worse than an infidel. How are you going to buy yourself? You're not taking the mark. This is for you mid or post sugars. Don't steal my crown of righteousness. That's a sin. You stole my you stole my blessed hope, my crown, my rewards. That's what drives me to do this video, the blessed hope. What drives you is really your salvation, don't get me wrong. The blessed hope puts it into warp speed, overdrive. Now I'm in overdrive. You ever heard of that thing, Titanic, or what they say when they get hit by a missile, a torpedo? Oh, hands are dead. That's what this is. Missile's coming. That's the Antichrist. It's going to hit this ship called America. Oh, hands on deck. You know what I'm talking about. Abandoned ship. The ship is this, this, this country, and this ship is also this flesh that's going to hell. This flesh is getting burned, saved or not saved. You gotta, yeah. Things of the flesh gets burned. This, think of your ship, your body. Abandon the ship. Your soul, your soul, is, okay, your soul is the passenger on this sh ship called the sinful nature, which is called the Titanic. Saved people, they abandon the ship called their flesh. They're good. They're going to heaven. Saved, unsaved people, Captain must go down with his ship. You better believe you will. I can I can put this chain of command in Navy and everything. This chain of command, chain of command everywhere. Now, yeah, if I'm wrong, convict me and I'll repent. Not nah, here we go, repent. Not repent, confess, because I'm saved. I do not repent. But the devil likes to 
Helmet of salvation. You're not saved. That devil is saying that to new to new born again Christian. Think you're saved. Look what you doing? Saved. I, I told you what what is the one point to re to know, remember, not to believe, to know you're saved? One thing. Yes, you say works, but I told you works can be deceptive. So I'm not choosing works. Even though the faith without works is dead, I know. But I'm picking one thing that everybody has to have. Oh yeah, you can have works. Lifestyle and everything. No, this is a requirement. Trials of fire. I'm a safe person. No, my life's pretty comfortable throughout the whole time. Question your salvation. That needs to be a struggle. Remember, your faith is diamonds. Is your faith like a diamond? Has to be made by tons of pressure. I don't know how much pressure. To be forced to a diamond? Or is your faith like this dollar bill that's going to get burned up? Which is nothing but IOU. Which one? Remember, your faith is like currency. Which currency you have? Think of heaven as a bank. Not a bank. Think of heaven as a house. Jesus Christ is the, whatever is the, bank owner. You want to go to heaven. You want to buy this house. You want to buy some inheritance. Let's see what kind of money you got here. Let's see your bank account. Go to your account balance. See, you got money here. Is it dollar bills? The devil's money? Or is it... Real money, diamonds, rubies. Because if it is, it's of my father, because you did my father's will. See, so you got a lot of works, but the in the soul, though, you're doing the devil's will. So these are dollar bills. No good. Debtor's prison. Oh, when I serve my time, I'll be left free. No, this is infinite debt. You're going there forever. Hell. I'm a saved person. Remember. Trying to purchase a house. This is New Jerusalem. I'm speaking hypothetically speaking. You just look at my account. I really wish you do more works than this, son. Because most of these works are in the flesh. But I see here, you endorsed the check that I gave you, not the devil. You endorsed that check, which means you accept me. Open the gate. I see myself in him. Therefore, my father will see me in him. Because... No, I'm not saying this perfection, but best believe when you die, you are. Why? Because this sinful nature is gone. Remember, that's one thing is common in both sides. Sinful, this flesh is gone. Saved or not saved, it's gone. Glorified body. Will we be him? We be as he sees us, as we see him. Okay, yeah. Let's get let's get rid of this body, this sinful flesh. Of course, it'll be burned before I even get there. Your your soul. Give, let's give him this glorified body. Of course, you'll be you'll be given the glorified body at the rapture. Technically, you will not. This is a tribulation thing, though. It will get judged at the judgment seat of Christ. But yeah, okay, he's good. Although he didn't do that much works, it doesn't matter if it works because he can't earn it. He endorsed the check I gave him of infinite righteousness. He's perfect now in the soul. Not per he wasn't perfect when he was in the flesh, alive. Now he's perfect. No spot or blemish can enter the kingdom of God. He's good. Let him in, let him all see my father. Give him this glorified body. Okay? He's a spiritual Jew with a circumcised heart. That's why it's called New Jerusalem. That's for people that really know the Bible. You know you're a spiritual Jew. Your spiritual father is Abraham. Don't tell me I don't know my Bible. He who is a Jew inwardly. Oh, it's talking about Christ, but Christ is a Jew. Inwardly. Oh, he's talking about Gentile. Well, I thought outwardly I will retain, maintain my racial distinction. Yes, your glorified body. I look like this, young, 25. Yes, inwardly you're a Jew. That's why it's called the New Jerusalem. What, you think God's going to treat the New Jerusalem like America? It's the melting pot, milks in the races. No, this is all Jews. Oh, now he's a racist, yeah. In uh, Israel, majority of people are Jews. All Jews, majority. Oh well, yeah, you have white, but it's a Jew. You know a nation by who lives there? Who lives here? You also know a nation by a common language. Here's why I'm really gonna offend you. Nations, the Af uh, America was originally a white Protestant nation. Oh, he's a Uncle Tom. I'm just telling true history. Oh yeah, there's blacks, but they're separate. That's all I'm saying. Separate. God created the races to separate them. So they won't unite against them like they did in the Tower of Babel. I, don't tell me this. This is blacks back in the civil rights movie, civil rights movement said 
It was better. Life was better when we were segregated. Blacks had their own schools. It was better. This miscegenation has caused chaos. Brown of education. Don't tell me these blacks that said that. Malcolm X was for in not integration. Martin Luther King was. Hmm. Which one's of the Pope? Martin Luther King. Integrate. Black were with men. He, Martin Luther King got me. No, he's of the devil. Black, he's an integrationist. Black with white people thought together we are the world. He's a new ager, basically. No, Malcolm X. We're all equal in the eyes of God. Separate, though. Black schools. Black neighborhoods. Still the same country. Just black. No. Miscegenate. Force, let's put this this way. It's an agenda. It's forcefully race mixed. By these reality shows. White with black men. Come on now. <laughs> Let me stop with that. I just said, I, I, I see. You, you need to have the eyes of Christ. The mindset. Not the mind. Not Christ consciousness. But his mindset. What would Jesus do? How would Jesus view this? You heard about that? If you're unsaved, you're, you're saying, what, what would the devil do here? That's what you're saying. What would the devil do in this situation? No. What would my father have me do here? Be honest with myself. What would he really want me to do here? What would the devil want me to do? So, hope this was edifying. Even if it's not edifying to no one, it was edifying to me getting this off my chest. Oh, I got it off my chest. I feel so good. No, I don't feel good. I'm depraved. See what I'm saying? I gotta watch what I say. I did the will of my father. I wanted to do this. Your will has to be, when you're in heaven, if your will and his will is not here, not saved. You only have your sinful nature. Remember, your sinful nature is pulling you back. Remember, it's a tug of war. Sinful nature on one end, your soul on the other, if you're saved. Unsaved people, they're on the left. Towards the sinful nature more. It's, it's not saying they won't do righteous. It's just that needle is on towards the left, which is the way of the devil. Save people, that needle is the way to the Father. So, think of it as a line. Remember, he's the author of confusion, so he's going to mix that up. Some people, their moral compass is messed up. Up is down, left is right. I'm not saying I'm like that. I'm like that sometimes. But uh, I end with that. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Peace.